Get ready, San Antonio. The Fiesta Flambeau Parade is back. This year we have 180 entries. This includes floats, dancers, and bands. This includes out-of-state bands and bands from Mexico. We get to host our friends and neighbors all over the city. More than 2 million people celebrate our hometown on the streets, watching on television, or throughout live streaming. It's America's largest illuminated parade. And we're proud to showcase the beauty, culture, and diversity of our city. The night parade that attracts over 750,000 street spectators. And this year, it's bigger, brighter, and bolder. Where family and friends come together to bring our nightlife alive. And the next generation is ready to take over this fiesta tradition. Tonight, the Fiesta Flambeau Parade is for the people, where everyone here is royalty. Welcome live to KSAT 12's parade party before the night parade, before we get this flambeau kicked off. I am Steve Spreester, and we are right in the middle of it all. We're right in the middle of the parade route, yeah. and we're ready. Two years in the making. Good evening. I'm Alicia Barrera, and you said it. We couldn't be more in the middle of things than right here in the middle of the street where that parade is going to make its way through. And you know what? Look at this. Look at all these people up in the bleachers here. Everybody say hi. They are all ready for the flambeau tonight, an illuminated parade that is going to stretch down here through Main Street. We're at the corner of Main and Cypress, all the way down in front of the Alamo, and we are very pleased to be bringing you this event live. And joining us right now, a guy who really, I mean, what is this, Parade 3 for you? What this? This yes, Fiesta oh, I was Parade say, Three like, for Adam Three? Oh well, come I mean, on! This year, this year man. This it's year. Like Mr. Please, yeah. Mr. Confetti. Yeah. Well, and got the holster oh. ready to go. The Cascarone holster. Of course. How to make it? It's holster de cascarones. And. Viva. Viva, Viva Fiesta! Viva it's Viva. time to get into it. It's time to party. I love seeing everybody out and about again after COVID awesome. and the you know condensed Fiesta we had before. Absolutely. It's awesome. This is People good. Lining up since early in the morning getting their seats, their lawn chairs ready to go. It's like a big family. I mean, people walk it, it by, hey, Alicia, hey, Steve, hey, Adam. And it's it's been awesome, and we are so <laughs> glad to be your official Fiesta station. That is for sure. And, Adam, we're going to leave it to yes. you. We're going to go see uh, where John Paul go, Brahas yeah, is. Go to your next position. It's really neat in there. You're going to want to see it's this. It's really cool. Party. Our insiders, they got here nice and early. They got their, their seating, assigned seats, special seating, got our own bathrooms back there and all, and... There's my camera now. <laughs> hey, it's live TV. We just go with it. And we've got the sea of people coming down Main Street, just trickling in, typical Flambeau fashion. Everybody in a good mood, good spirit, ready to have a good time. Hello. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. You look great. I feel great. Good. Too good. good. That's the spirit. That's what we've got. We're all in this together, and luckily, we're not sweating like we, we typically do <laughs> flambeau night. Usually, we've got the little confetti like sticking to us, giving us tie-dye skin <laughs> by the end of the night. And <laughs> you take your shirt off, and it's stained from all the cast. No, this year, it's actually pretty comfortable. Just a bit of a breeze, but that's going to be pumping the brakes a bit in the coming hours. So that's positive, especially when the floats start coming, when they have the balloons and taller objects, it's good to have uh, less wind. But enough about the weather. I always get sidetracked on the weather. We're here for some fun. Who's ready for some fun? I love it. He stands up. Yep, he's standing up. Yeah, there it is. I want the medal. 
got a lot of medals. Yeah, well, they got canceled. Not by KSAP, but others. Yeah, I know. So now I've, I don't have the Cañon de Cascarones. Now I've just got the Cascarones. But speaking of medals, somebody was asking me, you know, how because I'm kind of hunching forward these days as it gets later and later in Fiesta. I have to remind myself better posture. This is about 10 extra pounds of weight. Um, and so at least by tomorrow, I can say, I just lost 10 pounds after Fiesta. <laughs> I lost weight after Fiesta. Only just because, of course, I'm wearing this the whole time. All right, what's everybody looking forward to tonight? What are you looking forward to? The clowns. Oh, the clowns? The, 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 the Shriners on the little cards? Yeah, the carts? clowns on the carts. And UT. We want to see oh, yeah. UT, yes. UT, definitely. Yes. Oh, awesome. Congrats. You are going to UT, so of course you're looking forward to that. Tacos, yep. And waiting for the waiting for the sun to go down. Yes, I'm ready for the sun to go down so we get everything lighted up. Hello, hey, it's good to see you. Um, I don't have any more medals on me, just what I'm wearing right now. That's all I've got. Oh, you want this whole thing? <laughs> Be walking like this, weighted down. So Fiesta Flambeau, it's good to have everybody back. There's a good vibe, kind of like what we saw with uh, Battle of Flowers, where the weather was so nice and it was earlier. You didn't see that fatigue on everybody's face said uh, just that exasperation that people had just like today people are upbeat they're peppy even the ones that have been out here in the sun along the parade route getting their spot and Eddie take a look at that sea of people back there too I mean when you just look down Main Street or I should say look up Main Street that's where the parade starts and then it comes toward us goes past us all the way down to the Alamo very different route than what we've had in years past it's not on Broadway and I do wonder did any is anybody sitting on Broadway right now wondering, hey, where is everything? One thing I like about Main Street here is that it's narrow, it's a lot more intimate. Alright, let's go inside. Uh, all I know is we're directly behind the bleachers here at the KSAT Insider event, and it is quite an event. The bleachers are right there. All I can hear is Kasky getting the crowd riled up up That's there. That's what he does best. He can get any party started. Yes, he can. And what a party we have back here. Absolutely. This is the, the KSAT Insider event. Uh, it's for the KSAT VIPs, and, uh, you know, we've got food, face paints, cornhole, all kinds of stuff. And you know what else we have? The one and only John Paul Barajas, who is with us, and he's he, and he, he uh, luckily he doesn't have a mic, so you couldn't say what hear what he said. But <laughs> and I won't repeat it. I won't repeat but, it either. But but he has some special guests. So John Paul, we're going to go up toward the tower where we're going to be broadcasting a parade, and we're going to let you take it from here. Uh oh, I don't know if you want to be left in my hands, but you can, we'll get it back. It, we'll get it back to you guys you in a bit. It. Now. It's Fiesta. Flambeau is back after two years. Everybody's ready to party and have a good time. To make sure we do that, we have two people here. We have Irvin and Cal Calvin, correct? Calvin, who are going to be doing a Native American blessing because of all the stuff that we've been through the past couple of years. Irvin, kind of talk to us about that. Yes, uh, we as Indian people, Native people, believe that the uh, power of prayer and asking the Creator above for his blessings is very good for this community. We've had two years that have been very difficult. Many people have lost relatives, friends, uh, neighbors. And so the thought with Flambeau was, let's do a blessing for all people. Ask the Creator above to bring his blessings, his, his healing hand for all those there. Keep those people that are safe, that are with us today, have a wonderful parade, you know, and a very safe parade. And, and so we're gonna do what we call a sage blessing. So we'll have some uh, sage in, in a shell, and we'll actually go around and we'll stop up here in front of the cameras, do the blessing of, in front of the parade so that we have very successful. Uh, we've done that many, many times over the years. We're, we're praying people. Uh, we believe uh, the Creator above will listen to us um, and expound His blessings to us as well. We're using eagle feathers today. We believe that the eagle is a very powerful bird and can fly the highest and can take our prayers, our thoughts, our deeds to the Creator above and return them as well. And the sage that we're using today helps us to get that updraft to Him. And, and we feel very strong about that today. And you said you've done this blessing many, many times, but the significance of this one is it's the first time you're doing it here at a Fiesta event, correct? That is correct. So last weekend we had a powwow 
we had a blessing over there, but this is in front of the parade and everything else for the city of San Antonio, regardless of what nationality you are, who you are, this is for everyone. We want unity within this community. We feel we have that. And so this blessing is for everybody. And you guys are actually going to be leading the parade, kicking everything off, and it'll be That's at correct. the very front of it at 7 p.m. Right. And make sure that everybody has a good time and is blessed throughout the entire event. That is correct. But now let's talk about this outfit, because although they look very cool, <laughs> there is some significance about them, correct? Correct. So talk to me. You said that you only have eagle feathers. That is correct. Uh, Calvin and I both are, have golden eagle feathers. We have that uh, right uh, by law. We both have eagle permits that so we're able to do this, and it's it's a spiritual thing. So our head bonnets, our, our fans, uh, Calvin's got this massive bustle on the back uh, that uh, he's constructed as well. And so uh, we, we utilize that. Uh, again, uh, we have a right to use them, and, and we, we're very sacred. They're sacred feathers to us. And so uh, the shirt that I have on as an example is actually a Blackfeet medicine shirt. And uh, we both have, I've got uh, leather leggings. His clothing is what we call a traditional style. Everything that he has on, including his beadwork, he completed all of that himself. So we're very proud of Calvin. And My wife, Jennifer Osov, is the designer and I beaded the whole thing myself. Well, you guys look great. We're very lucky to have you guys here today to make sure everybody has a good time. We appreciate the work, fellas. Guys, we're going to toss it back to, I believe, Steve and Alicia. But we want to keep an eye out for these guys at the start of the parade. Absolutely. And we hope to bring that uh, live to you once the parade begins. The uh, San Antonio Pow Wow uh, coming down Main Street here just below us right now. This is going to be where we're at for the parade. And, man, are we excited that after two years, look at all the people. I don't think we're the only ones excited, Alicia. Absolutely. Absolutely not. After this is about the culture tradition of San Antonio, and it's so beautiful to see it out here. And after two years, we're back. We're going to take a commercial break right now. Welcome back. After two years, the Fiesta Flambeau Parade is back, and it is going to be bigger and better than ever. As we said, we had a lot of new participants this year. We just talked to the United San Antonio Pow Wow. They're talking about the Native American blessing that they will be giving uh, as this parade begins. But that's one of just a myriad of people and floats and marchers we're going to have tonight. Absolutely. And bands. Yes, though, the bands. Yes. We're excited for those. And this is the first time that there's going to be a parade within the parade, and it's going to be honoring our essential workers. But also, you want to watch out for a flyover by the United States Air Force. Yeah, and the biggest military aircraft that they have is going to be doing the flyover here before this parade. There's also, there's traditionally a fun run. It is called, the, but this year it is the initial first ever Fiesta de la Spurs fun run and there are a lot of people warming up getting ready to do this fun run I, they got to get the crowd out of the way though getting ready to probably burn off all the chicken on a stick or prepare for more well, yeah you're right chicken on a stick Adam yeah. Kasky is uh, I believe out and about and uh, I don't know if he's actually warming up with the runners or <laughs> stretching not. or what he's doing but uh, encouraging I know he, them yeah I know he's down there somewhere it's that hip flexor you know yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> I just don't want to pull a hammy yeah, I'm not going to be running with the runners, but um, I do like to see some of their outfits and costumes. We've had a few of them actually walking up this way, just on their way to the staging area. And, you know, you always get some fun costumes, some fun outfits from the runners. So it's a nice tradition. It's, it's always fun to watch. And we'll, of course, bring that to you at home so you can feel like you're right here inside the action. And when I last talked to you, I talked about how we're on Main Street. Usually we're lined up on Broadway, which is very wide, probably twice as wide as Main Street here. So this is a relatively narrow route, especially when you consider three rows of chairs on each side, which really just pulls everybody a little closer together. And from what I've noticed at Battle of Flowers, it was very intimate. You, you felt like you were right there. If you're a parent of somebody in the parade, this is going to be some of your best viewing on this route because of how close everything is. Of course, we still have a bit of a breeze out here, but we're just going to have to contend with that for a while. 
while. Then once that sun goes down, everything gets lit up. We're ready for the parade to start, but we're still waiting on our runners over there. Hey, Viva Fiesta! Yeah. Woohoo! Say, there's Adam Cat. Yep, here we are. <laughs> I even we're ready. I even know your name. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Who do I get first? Hey! Hey, on TV. Viva Fiesta. Yeah, we're on. We're on k -Set. Thank you. Thank you. So this is actually one of those gag gifts that's like a six-pack of beer holder. And I just converted it into a cascarone holder. Yeah, you got you to gotta mix it up. I don't have a thermometer with me, unfortunately. Yeah, it would break. I know. I was thinking I should have a metal that has a real thermometer, but it would just break. It would shatter. That would be safe. Yes, thank you. Hey, Viva Fiesta. Fiesta, good to see you. See, everybody's in a good mood out here, and not so nicely dressed as well. Look at the bright colors. My husband, I come over here and wave. Oh, good. Well, then, is he at home? Yes. Okay, wait. Hey, there you go. What's his name? Arnold. Arnold, I got her for you. I got her. <laughs> Viva Fiesta, you're welcome. Yes, hello, Arnold. Hello, everybody else at home. Not everybody can actually make it down here to the parade, so that's why we're here, to make it feel like you're at the parade. Taking all the sights and sounds in, uh, taking in the crowd and the festivities, and of course, people being in a good mood because we're back, baby. We are back. Take that, COVID. Take that, COVID. We're back. We're together. And we're having a real fiesta for a change and it feels it feels amazing to actually be back in action and be able to get close to people and take selfies and have photos of people and whatnot so we're just down here with the crowd people still slowly filtering in and getting to their seats you see a lot of people have these glow sticks and various devices that light up so oh yeah it's going to be a very Adam. different scene here at once the sun goes down the parade starts we'll actually have some unique uh, unique sights and sounds from the stands because of some of their props and the things that they have which you know just gets everybody into the whole spirit and the fiesta spirit more than anything viva this fiesta, such a great time. Viva fiesta. And, and, and we that's love why, it all right let's send it back upstairs to you what just happened with you adam is why i am so glad we're doing a parade party before the parade even starts is you get to get a sense of the crowd you get to yeah. interact with the people that were out there and get a sense of just how much excitement is out here there's also our KSAT insider oh, event that's been going a blast. on. That's been a blast. We started yesterday with Battle of Flowers, sold out. We have face painting, there's drinks, there's food. And like you said, we get they hype us up, we hype them up. It's, yeah. it's a great, great time. And we'll be back with that in just a bit. Yep, we're going to take you there next live. Welcome back live to KSAT's Fiesta Flambeau Parade Party the party before we get this parade underway and look at all the people that are out there. We're about to start the Fiesta de los Spurs fun run, but I think it's being a little delayed because there's so many people that are actually on the parade route. Everyone's right now. mingling. Everyone's saying hello, taking pictures. We saw it just a bit ago with it Adam is, Kasky. <laughs> it is like one big family down there, that's for sure. It's they all you know, people who come visit San Antonio, they always say this kind of gives me a vibe of a backyard party. Yes. And you know, on steroids. Especially this. <laughs> and we actually have our own backyard party that's going on right now. Our John Paul Baraja standing by at our KSAT Insider event. John Paul. Steve, Alicia, before we get to the KSAT Insiders event, isn't it just not like Caskey to stop the party, literally? Yes. Kill everything? <laughs> yes. Come on, man. I know. I guess we're, on, we're, on, we're on Fiesta time, so we'll let it slide a little bit. Actually, but, we're on Caskey time. <laughs> exactly. Correct. <laughs> I stand corrected. Uh, but we're at the KSAT Insiders event. It's the very exclusive after and during pre-party that everybody can join in on. All you have to do is be uh, an insider, and you can do that by checking out our website and signing up there. You get lots of other benefits as well to all the other parties as well. But let's check out, look what we got here. We got we got our social media man over here with the pinata. He got out of the way quick. It's, he likes to be behind the camera. We got picture walls, everybody having a good time. This is another a great way for us to talk to you guys and meet you guys. We talk to you through a screen all the time. But we would love to talk to you guys and meet you guys and hear what, uh, this is not a staged question, but what uh, favorite KSAT employees you like to watch. This is Blanca and Diana. Blanca, who is your favorite? KSAT employee. My favorite all-time 
Case that employee is nobody other than John Paul Barajas. Well, guys, I mean, come on. The lady <laughs> said it herself. Uh, we're going to ask you the same question. Remember, I said I would kick you guys out if you like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. John Paul hey. Barajas. Guys, I think I'm a fan favorite. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, mean, I, I, saw the, I, I saw those same two ladies earlier that told me I was their favorite. Well, do, do you need me to remove them from the premises? No, it's all right. <laughs> okay. They can stay. Okay. At, we'll, least, we'll, at least we'll hash it out over a drink or something. Yeah, at least they said the right channel. <laughs> exactly. So you guys have been here for how long? How long have you guys been here? Uh, we got here at 5 o'clock. Okay, so what do you guys think of the Insiders event so far? It's amazing. I love it. I love it. Uh, it's the first time I've heard of it. Um, I had participated in one of you all's questionnaires that you all asked online uh, and on the news. And so I put up at the daylight savings time. And I got a response uh, thanking me and then asking if I wanted to join, become an insider. And I did, and that's how I heard about this event here. And I think this is wonderful. The food was good. I like the, the area. I like the fact that the, the seats are right there. Um, the drinks, everything is wonderful. It's been nice talking to all of your newscasters, especially John Paul Barad. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to give her a drink. Uh, yeah, you better. <laughs> so what are some of the favorite things you've been able to experience so far? As I mentioned earlier, we talk to you guys through a screen all the time. But we don't get to see past that, but now we get to mingle with you guys. It's been wonderful to meet all you guys and just put a face to the name. And I really am very appreciative of this event. It's been nice with the food and the hospitality and just seeing different people and their different stories. And thank you. Thank you, guys. And you're still thank you. my favorite. Hey, there you see, you guys. Not staged whatsoever. I appreciate it, guys. I'll let y'all get back to the party. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Before I toss it back to you, I want to bring in one person real quick. Uh, she, this is another amazing thing about the KSAT Insider event is that you meet uh, great people and that have great stories. And we're going to talk about their story a lot more later. But just briefly, talk to us about the significance of you guys being here. Um, first time back after 20 years uh, retiring from the Marine Corps. So first time back in San Antonio um, for good and our first fiesta. And about over and since the 90s probably when I left in 2001, but I don't remember uh, anything like since the 90s the last time we were at, at a fiesta event, uh, Battle of Flowers or Spambo Parade. Yeah. And just real brief because we're going to come back to you guys after this, but what does it feel like to be back after so many years? It feels great. Um, I love the, the, the atmosphere here. Everyone getting to know each other and um, celebrating, you know, the, the significance of Fiesta, commemorating the Battle of the Alamo, San Jacinto, all that, and the, the parades, love it, and the, the, the music, the food. Come on, yeah, everyone. Awesome stuff, guys. We'll toss it back to you, but lots of great people here, lots of great stories that we want to tell to you guys. Thank, thank that gentleman for his service for me, if you would, John Steve, Paul. Steve, Steve, thank you Absolutely. for your service. Yes. All right, and done. Thanks, John Paul. I appreciate it. All right, we're going to roll on with our parade party live from along the Flambeau Parade Route. Welcome back to the Fiesta Flambeau pre-party. Getting the party started here. Yeah, we are. And by the way, what you're looking at right there, those are runners that are going to take part in the Fiesta de los Spurs fun run that's going to take off momentarily. Now, that's what it's been renamed. In the past, there have been some very crazy outfits that people have worn uh, for this run that basically it runs the parade route. So what's cool about it, I did it once when I was a much younger man. Did you hurt yourself then? I, yeah, yeah, I know. It's hard to believe. I did it once when I was a younger man. And the great <laughs> thing is that people are yelling and they're cheering. And you get off to a great start. And then you remember, I'm not breathing. I'm not doing the things I should normally <laughs> I do. I ate too many chicken get, on a stick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what was I thinking about with that margarita? And then you get into it and you're like, well, I Here cannot. We are. I, you know, look at all these people <laughs> watching me. We got to keep doing this. So I that's mean, about to kick off. You can see they're trying to get the route cleared itself right now before they start kicking all those. Was that just Horn? Is that just Horn? He's leading the pack there. Look at him. And his, wow. I th I, I th yeah, now they're they're clearing the way for these runners to start. <laughs> just Justin some of those was clearing sites. the way for them. I told you we're right up on the on the action. There and he comes. To get Justin Horn in action. You can't miss Justin in that crowd. It's amazing. All right, we're gonna let this run get started. We're gonna take another quick break. There's Justin. There he is. <laughs> the leader of the pack. You can do it, Justin. Justin Horn. <laughs> he forecast this was gonna happen. <laughs> All right, as they get this parade started, we're going to take a break. We'll come right back. Welcome back, 
and the, the Fiesta de los Spurs fun run has begun. And wow, what a spectacle it was. It was great to see all these people cheering these runners on. All right, these are the serious runners towards the beginning. Then as you get farther back, you've got the not-so-serious runners, the guys that are running in the uh, luchador costumes. The I see Rudy, a taco. I a see taco. a taco. We saw, I see two tacos. We saw Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Is that LeBron? That was LeBron. We saw all kinds of people, and it's, it's just <laughs> for fun. And you get the chance to actually run the parade route. Different route this year. It's 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 a very cool experience. You mentioned you ran this back in your day. Many, many, many moons ago. That's how you know that what happens in the back of the pack. That's exactly because what I know I what happens up. in the back of the pack. I wore like a <laughs> chef's like apron. Oh, you were in costume too? Yeah. I wore a chef's apron with like okay. the body of somebody that's really ripped, which obviously which, wasn't me. Clearly. And that's, that's what I did. <laughs> you know... So much about Fiesta and really so much about San Antonio itself is about traditions and family traditions. And certainly Fiesta brings out a lot of those. Absolutely. We see it with the medals, with the hats. I mean, even just families. This is the first time that we're going along this route. But for generations, families have been going out choosing their same spot. Absolutely. John Paul Barajas joins us again to talk about some of these family traditions. He's still at the KSAT Insider event. John Paul. All right, guys, family tradition's a big thing about Fiesta. We got one of the best family traditions. Feel free to share other ones to you guys with our social media team. But right now we have Allison. Talk to us a little bit about what Fiesta means to you and what you and your family have done for so many years. So Fiesta is something that we've been sharing for generation after generation. Um, my aunt actually lives off of um, Ashby, so we would walk, we would all meet at her house, and we have a huge family. Um, my dad had 18 brothers and sisters, and all of us have huge families. I come from nine siblings, and so we would meet at my aunt's, and we would walk all together, and we would be able to go through the floats and see the horses and um, see the bands that were getting ready, um, prepared, and we would always be in the beginning of uh, Grayson Street. And that's where we would always see the parade. So this is a tradition that you were doing before you had your own family. Absolutely. And now that you do, it's been going on for so many years. Show us this picture. Yeah. And then tell us how old your kids are now. Yeah, so this picture, my kids are probably here like 6, 7, 8, and 9. And my kids now are 24, 26, 27. So they're pretty up in age. And we need to talk to KSAT because she is Fiesta royalty. She won our porch parade, and we don't have a crown for her. We need to get that fixed. So we'll get that squared away after we're done here. But talk to us about being back here at Flambeau after two years without it. Yeah, so that was kind of really hard. And I guess for San Antonio, for us to kind of come out and enjoy, um, I think that the parade represents more than just um, the festival. You know, it's San Antonio. I think we're a big family. We're all about community. And um, like they see on TV, right? It's a party with a purpose. Awesome stuff. We'll let you get back to your family. That way you can continue enjoying the traditions. Thanks a lot, okay, Allison. Thank you. All right, guys. How beautiful that she's carrying the picture around. I, I think that's that. so special. I love that. That's yeah. what we love to see. Well, another big part of Fiesta is, of course, the fashion. It's not regular attire. It's big. It's flashy. It's bold. It's colorful. And none of that is your attire. Well, you've got people wearing. You've got people wearing big, huge hats. You've got people who are wearing light up costumes. The tonight. shoes. The show shoes. Me show shoes. Show me your shoes. All those things. And I. Hooked Struggle. up with, I, 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 I needed to go on an adventure. Yes, you did. So I found a guy who is a walking, talking fiesta, especially for these 10 days of fiesta. He's really, he's Mr. Fiesta, and he showed me his suggestions for what I should wear this fiesta. Take a look. There he is. That's the guy. Mr. Fiesta, hey, the Sultan of Sparkle, <laughs> the Ambassador of Bling, Michael Quintanilla, my fashion consultant. Hey, how are you? Good, I'm, good. I'm here for you, baby. All right, so so first off, what do you think of this outfit? Um, well, I, I like the teal. Why a costume shop? Yeah. It starts right here. I always come here for ideas, and then it just grows and grows and grows. Because you know what? I'm not done until it's overdone. Wow, Steve. Michael, after this, I say we walk through gyms like this. Oh, yes. Let's go order the yeah. uh, some pancakes. Yeah, I want a Frontier Burger and a Royal Shake. Wow. I don't know so much about this train, but I do need this crown for the newsroom. The bling? Yeah. The crown? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. 
just not sure it's me. Okay, so right, let's let's show me some more options. All right, we can do that. I've got an idea. All right, suit number one. Oh my oh, god. Go. Oh, I love it, man. I am I am so digging this. <laughs> it's dynamite. It's full of prints. It's full of color, and even some sparkle and glitter and bling. You're blinging. <laughs> <laughs> this is like Austin Powers meets Fiesta. Meet Steve Spreester. <laughs> 0012. <laughs> See the little yeah. stripe up the yeah. side? Yeah. I, call, I call that a racing stripe. Yeah. Is that what it's called yeah. in fashion? I, it looks like you should be hitting, the, like you could go ice skating in this, like <laughs> Olympic ice skating maybe. <laughs> Fiesta Twins! twins. <laughs> All right, Michael, obviously I love this look. Yeah. You love this look. I love it. I just don't know if I can pull it off on a parade route or at Fiesta Fiesta. Okay. All right, this is more what I'm used to. Beautiful. I think you got it. Is that what we're going to settle on? I think we're there. <laughs> so. We did it. <laughs> So that's what we settled on for Fiesta Fiesta. This wow. is what we settled on for the Flambeau Parade. Bravo. And uh, I'm not- Mr. Fiesta, I'm, thank you. Yes, Michael Quintanilla will be very proud of me right now. Wow. Uh, smoking jacket maybe kind of I didn't for know later. you were gonna show me up. You know. I'm all about the Fiesta fashion. Yeah, well, I'm gonna, we'll wait till the lights go on later and then okay. I'll put this on. Okay. I think it's a little too early for this. Never too early, but, but, but I wanted to we show know it's off, out of your comfort zone. I wanted to show off the kind of taste that Michael Quintanilla has. Not that I have, yeah, that no, Mr. We know. Fiesta has. Uh, he has great taste. Has and what I love taste. most about him, his laugh is contagious. He, it is, it is, he, He's always a good time. He loves Fiesta. Indeed. Not more than us. Oh, I don't know. It's pretty close. <laughs> Look at the crowd <laughs> still here. All right. So they've done the fun run, and now people are just, they are Mingling. congregating downtown. Like I said, it is one big happy family. Fiesta Flambeau 2022, our parade party continues after this. Welcome back. We are roughly 14, 13 minutes away from the start of KSAT's Flambeau Parade coverage, and people are filing in here. We're at the corner of Maine and Cypress, but you can bet along this new route, people are filing in everywhere, down by the Alamo, over on Lexington Street, along the parade, waiting for Fiesta Flambeau to come back. 750,000 people are estimated to be along the parade route tonight and another 1 million or so who will be watching around the country. And we're so thankful to all those vendors who have made it here, the people at home, especially watching, not just from San Antonio, but across the state and across it's, the nation. It's, it's awesome. Let's check in with Adam Kasky, who's been getting a real flavor of this crowd throughout the evening. Adam, this has just been great so far. It, it's, it, it's, it's fantastic out here. And you mentioned the people watching across the country. We at KSAT hear from native San Antonians who watch our live broadcast, they, they stream it, from sometimes across the world. Sometimes they'll be at an Air Force base somewhere or another military installation somewhere and we'll hear from them across the world and it's just fantastic that we can be here to bring it to everybody. Look at these fun folks right here. Oh, come on, smile, say hi. So tell me some of your Fiesta traditions that y'all have. Um, we come downtown, eat chicken on a wing. I mean, what is it, chicken on a stick? Chicken on a wing? <laughs> yeah. Chicken on a wing's pretty good, too, I've heard. I got, I'm still looking for it. I haven't been able to find it yet. Can you point me in the right direction? Uh, I think I said it. <laughs> I'm nervous. I never. Oh, know. it's okay. So, what's your what's your favorite part about Fiesta? Um, that we get to see people walking by, and then and then the, see the floats. You know, one of my favorite parts. The cascarones. Yes, looking good. Look at that smile. Look at that smile. There it is. Oh, so tell me, hey. kind sir. I'm gonna take a seat by you. If you don't mind, I can squeeze right in. There we go. 
All right. All right. Good. How many uh, flambeau parades have you been to? Uh, probably about 15. Nothing. How about you? Uh, this, well, this is, we, let's see, we didn't have two in a row, right? right? Yeah. So 2020, 2021, so this would be, I think, my fifth then. Nice. Fifth. What's it, your favorite part about the parade? I like it when the sun's down and everything's lighted. Yeah. And you get That's what makes it so different from so many other parades. Mm. It's at night, things are illuminated, and that's when you start to see the creativity come out, yeah. in my opinion. So what about you? What's your favorite part? You know, just hanging out with family. It's it's like a it's a downtime. Like you take some time off, you get to hang out with your family and just uh, kind of regroup before the summer starts and you know the heat and all that. No, that's true. Yeah. And having fiesta so early this year, what are your thoughts on that? Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely awesome. So far, I think that has been the response. Yeah. I like it. Let's do it again this early when it's not quite as hot right. and we have the opportunity for a little more comfortable weather out here. Well, good. This, I'm glad you're with the KSAT Insiders. You got the front row seats. Yeah. I'm warning this is so narrow that it's like hard to even put your feet out like this because it's there. Ooh, I, I hear some. High five all the bands. Yeah, you could totally high five the bands. Exactly. Give some fist bumps out there. I hear some, some beeping. Yeah, that means means we're finally going to get rolling here. I've noticed some people trying to uh, pop confetti, but you really I'm I'm going to tell y'all right now, you got to play the windage. Okay, you really got to play the windage. It's going this way. So you got to get ready for that. Wait for a lull in the wind and then you can pop it. Well, I guess that wasn't anything official really starting it off here, but it sounded like it for a second and it looked cool because we had the flashing lights. So tell me about some of your medals here. Tell me about some of your medals. We got the 2020 medal to make up for 2020. We have the Niosa medal. We have our pride because we love our, our queer family. And then we have the Beethoven Manicore medal. The Beethoven Manicore. <laughs> Beer. Yes, <laughs> right? Yes. All right, we're going to send it back to you. We're going to wait for everything to get going in here and uh, take it away from here. Yeah, I was going to say, Adam, I think they were just trying to get people to get out of the parade because it is so narrow for the parade. I think they're just trying to get people to kind of clear out because there's so much congregating and Start visiting. Moving and out of the way. Things that are happening, and they want to just get prepared for when this parade gets underway because, really, it's, it's not that far away. No, I think now we're less than 10 minutes away. Yeah. For Fiesta 2022 Flambeau, the night parade the nation's largest illuminated parade we can't wait to see it welcome back to our pre-parade party here at ksat 12 we are live along the Fest fiesta flambeau parade route at the corner of Maine and Cyprus, where this whole thing's gonna get underway in just a few minutes. It's a new route, people are excited, other ones are starting new traditions. 750,000 spectators and people really just worldwide tuning in for this amazing parade. And we'll be right back. Welcome back to our Flambeau pre-party here along the Flambeau parade route. And we are about to get started with this whole thing. It's been two years. A lot. Look at David Sears down there <laughs> throwing eggs out. <laughs> he was throwing a bunch of confetti. That's awesome. All right. It's been two years that we have been waiting for Fiesta Flambeau to come back. And even the Grand Marshal had to wait two years Can for his imagine? turn. Yeah, he was named in 2019. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let's meet him. Every year, the Fiesta Flambeau moves past the torch of friendship, a tall, bright sculpture that's become an iconic piece of downtown. Cambió de alguna manera a San Antonio como una imagen poderosa y como un icono. Enrique Carbajal, or Sebastián, as he's known to the art world, is this year's Fiesta Flambeau Grand Marshal. Each year, the association gives this honor to someone who's influential to our city or culture. Actually, we picked Sebastián three years ago. There was a city art display of a lot of his sculptures. So, since the city was honoring him, we thought it would be nice for us to honor him. Sebastian is known for his monumental steel sculptures located in various parts of the world. In 2002, he built the Torch of Friendship, which symbolizes and reflects the eternal bond between San Antonio and Mexico. Sabes que todo ha sido gracias a esta escultura que tenemos aquí atrás. La antorcha de la amistad generó que conocieran más de mi obra 
y que la ciudad de San Antonio festejara mis 50 años de carrera y por este, esta razón de 50 años de carrera y de poner cinco piezas urbanas en San Antonio pues han decidido que yo sea el gran marshal de la fiesta de San Antonio y es un honor inmenso, no, no tengo palabras para expresarlo. ¿no? Viva Fiesta. Viva Fiesta. He specializes in public art. He has four other sculptures, not just the Torch of Friendship, other sculpture, sculptures around San Antonio. I want to make sure I get this right. They all have bright colors. Be on the lookout next time you're passing through the San Antonio Public Library, University Hospital, or the San Antonio International Airport. Sebastian has displays up in all of those places. Y qué orgullo, what an honor to have his artwork here displayed around San Antonio. Absolutely. All right, we're going to wrap up our parade pre-coverage. We're going to start our Fiesta Flambeau parade coverage right after the break. The Fiesta Flambeau Parade back in San Antonio. It is America's largest illuminated parade, and we are proud to showcase the beauty, the culture, the diversity of the city of San Antonio. Good evening, I'm Steve Spreester. And I'm Alicia Barrera, and the Fiesta Flambeau has a lot of fun in store, including a special tribute in the sky. We have a parade within a parade. It's going to be a packed show. Yeah, and not just any uh, display in the sky. The flyover is from the largest military aircraft there is right now. You know, there are so many traditions as this Fiesta Parade and this Fiesta celebration plays out on the streets of San Antonio. And speaking of the streets of San Antonio, we have our Adam Kasky and John Paul Barajas that are going to show you all the action tonight. Let's check in with Adam Kasky right now. Yes, and we are live along the route here. Everybody's getting excited. The energy level just keeps going up and up and up, and I can tell that flyover is about to happen. It's about to happen because some people have their cameras ready. Ooh, a little bit of confetti popping down there. Oh, good windage for that one, good windage. Lack thereof, that's the key. So we're waiting for the parade to really get going, wait for that sun to set so then all the good lights can turn on on those, uh, on the floats, and even people wear various, uh, you know, lighted costumes. And one thing I've noticed over the years that have stood out to me is that with technology, they wear like big screens on their chests and they can put like different designs and cool things in them. So that's one thing that I like to see and how the technology changes people's outfits in the parades. And look at all the wonderful hats we have here. Wreaths and hats. We've got a Go Spurs Go down there. I like this one. Now we got Spurs themed hats. Okay, tell me, oh, and the face paint. That's at the Insider's event. How long did it take you to make your hat? I do not know. That long? Okay, that means it took a while to make the hat. I assume, obviously, big Spurs fans, right? Go Spurs, go, buddy. All right, really, on three, give me a Viva Fiesta. One, two, three. Fiesta! Yeah, Viva Fiesta! <laughs> All right, I love the enthusiasm down there, Adam. And like we said earlier, it's just like, it's a big family. I mean, we're down there and people are like, hey, Steve, hey, Alicia, hey, Adam, how's it going? You know, this, it, it's it's awesome. And we have some of our closest new family members, if you we will. Do. And those are our KSAT insiders and John Paul Barajas. He's in the mix of it all for this private event. It's easy for you to become a KSAT insider and really enjoy what John Paul's about to show us. John Paul? All right, guys, so we have a very special fiesta first for the kids, but not a first for mom and dad. Antonio, kind of talk to us a little bit about your background. You were born and raised here, then you went to go serve our country. Kind of talk to us about that. Yes, uh, born and raised in San Antonio, uh, graduated from South San High School, uh, took a few years off, then joined the Marine Corps in 2001. I uh, got out in 2021 and obviously COVID, but I remember growing up and all the parades that we used to go to, my dad selling tacos, hamburgers and everything, and then just running up and down the parade routes, buying stuff, cascarones, it was a great time. So they actually moved their entire family over to California during his service, correct? That's correct. Yes, uh, yes we were stationed there for the past six years, and uh, which basically was kind of home for them, but uh, we're now we're back home and we're super excited to be back. And talk to us about the decision to come back. You guys said it earlier. Oh, uh, just 
being, we love San Antonio. I mean, this is our home, and we just we couldn't wait. And for things like this, too, Fiesta is just one of it's an amazing event that San Antonio has. Okay, guys, now get this. It's been 20 years since the mom and dad have been to Fiesta. So they came back. They had a sort of Fiesta last year. We didn't have the parades. Now they're back. Fiesta's in full effect, and it's a Fiesta first for the kids. All right. How is it? What do you think so far? Um, I love it. The culture of being here is not like California. Um, I like dancing a lot, so it's really fun for me. Are y'all getting festive? I see the little sombrero here, the flower. You got the flower crown. Yes. Yeah. I love to go shopping for Fiesta and everything. Okay, awesome stuff. Well, we're going to toss it back to you guys, but we have someone here who said she wanted to be famous, and I said, there's no better way to be famous than to bust a cascaron on my head. Yeah, you see that, guys? She wasted, she wasted no time. She was ready to do that the entire time. You, you, <laughs> you prepped her well. You prepped exactly. her well for that moment. Absolutely. Hey, Eva, give me some. <laughs> toss it back to you guys. And happy, welcome happy home. Enjoy. Welcome home to the family. Yeah, what a beautiful absolutely. way to... to to welcome them back then the flambeau parade which is known as the largest illuminated night parade in the nation and this is just so special and you can probably imagine by the name it has some french roots and it's also inspired by a very popular event in new orleans yeah but with 750,000 people that'll watch along the parade route tonight and more than 1 million people who will watch on television it has eclipsed Mardi Gras in a lot of different ways. Let's look back, though, at Fiesta Flambeau's humble beginnings. Fiesta Flambeau is known as America's largest illuminated night parade, and it all started with one man's bright idea. In 1947, Reynolds Andrix, a local civil engineer, was elected to the Fiesta San Jacinto Association. And as a new board member, Reynolds had a very illuminating idea. Let's hold a Mardi Gras style night parade right here in San Antonio. Bring lights and a little New Orleans flair. Let's call it Fiesta Flambeau, the French word for torch. To put his idea into action, Andrix needed support, which he found from local businesses and the military. He went to the bases, the Air Force base and the Army base, to ask the commanders if they would like to also participate. The bases agreed and chose a queen. The Flambeau Parade was on, and in 1948, a porch brigade began its first march. It went through downtown San Antonio, through Houston Street. They had like 15 entries. With flashlights as the main source of illumination, this small flambeau parade was still considered a huge success, but it needed to grow. So Reynolds reached out to Bill Petmecki. Petmecki had recently created the Easter Fires pageant in Fredericksburg, and he knew festivals. Together, they began adding more floats, more bands, more military, more lights, and a new line of royalty, including Miss Fiesta. Reynolds Andrix continued growing and directing the Flambeau Parade until he passed in 1982, but his bright idea continues to shine. In 2019, the International Festivals and Events Associations named Fiesta Flambeau one of the best parades in the world. And to think that it started with about 15 floats and now we're 200? Close to, if not over, 200 entries for tonight's Flambeau Parade. How exciting. That is exciting. And just wait till this whole thing gets started. That's what we're doing. And that's what these kids are doing right now. Kids young at heart and young in age <laughs> out here as we are along the Fiesta Flambeau route getting ready. We're here at Crockett Park, the corner of Maine and Cyprus. And uh, wow. We're this ready to make it. new memories. We are ready to make new memories tonight. And there are so many people that have lighted things, like lighted crowns, lighted hats, lighted outfits. And you're also going to see it, especially on the bands, the creative way that the bands are using lights for this illuminated parade to show off their spirit for the flambeau and all that it entails. And uh, I think there are a lot of people who've waited a long time for this to happen. We've been Absolutely. through COVID. We've been waiting to get together as a family. And boy, San Antonio and all of our new family, we have come together tonight. We're going to take a break and be right back. Welcome back. Welcome back. 
back to our Fiesta 22 Flambeau Parade coverage. It's going to be a great night for the nation's largest illuminated night parade. Absolutely. And we, this is a lot of what we've seen for like the last couple of hours. People arriving, finding their seats, saying hi to people they know, maybe people they don't know, admiring each other's Fiesta best. Look at that hat right there. It's, it's so it's, intricate. It's, it's I mean, lit up. It's ready to go. You know, a lot of people have also been greeting our Adam Kasky, and he's oh, been greeting Adam. people. He's never met a stranger, <laughs> and that is never more true than right now. Adam. We're getting it going out here. We're getting it going. Yes, we are. How many uh, how many Fiesta Flambeaux have you been to now? Oh, you want me to tell my age now? Oh, oh no. I guess. How many Flambeaux you've been to that you want to admit to at least? It's your first? <laughs> at least my 60th. Yes! Oh, oh my gosh. I love it. This is just one thing I love about San Antonio. Yes, you know, it's so born great. and raised. So. Right. Enjoy it. So over the years, how have you seen this parade change? Oh, Lord. Well, right now it's the route. Yes. <laughs> the route is, uh, I would say it's challenging, wouldn't you? It's, it's narrow, a little different. Well, I didn't see a Texas band, so I'm sure I'm not going to see an a and band. Oh, I see. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, our Justin Horner was not happy. He didn't have, the, the a and band wasn't here at Battle of Flowers. He was not happy about that. Down there and see how they do that turn on St. Mary's and Lexington, and then the turn on Brooklyn. You know you're right. That's a good turn. You're going to go right and left. Yep. I did my recon. Yeah, you did. You found your best spot right here, huh? Well, that's because I'm here with my friend Sandra. Oh, Sandra, so you my mentioned something about the lights, right? And her friends up here. Right? More lights in these parades, in this parade. But I was with Fiesta in 1974. We have royalty with us. Right. And that was a long time ago. And you asked about how many flambeaux or battle flowers oh, yeah. all my life. I'm 69. And we started way back with the Chavos of Behar. I was queen of the Chavo Association. Oh, like and then, yeah. you know, went on to be Miss Fiesta. Oh, so good to chat with y'all. Thanks for joining us. See, I love talking to folks who have been here to see a change, seen a change over the years and have such good stories to tell. We'll send it back to you upstairs. And, you know, for many, it has been a little rough, this uh, parade route change. Yeah. I but it just I gives way to, to new traditions. Yes. And, and, it, and uh, you know, I don't know how long they're going to keep this route, probably at least for another year. But I like it because it's so, it's you know, it's Broadway's intimate. a wider street, obviously, than Maine. Um, but I like the intimacy of it. You're ready. It's I fun. like the fact you're right on top of what's coming down the street. I had to park all the way by French Place and just walking to where we are right now, Crockett Park. Yes. Just so fun. Yes. People are excited. The sights, the sounds, the smells. We can bring you the sights and sounds. We can't bring you the smells, but it, it's, you know, if you like turkey leg and chicken on a stick and all that good stuff, we got you covered. John Paul, chicken on a stick or turkey, turkey leg? What do you prefer? Got to cut out there Thank for a you. second. <laughs> Yeah, I love oh, selfies. Oh, turkey legs or chicken on a stick? Yeah. So, for keep me clean, I'm going to go with chicken on a stick. But if nobody's watching, I'm biting into a turkey leg. <laughs> yeah. Sauce all over my face. And it's nothing that anybody should see. Definitely not be broadcasted on any sort of live stream or TV. But we're here. I'm waiting for Casky to get back. I want to get him with these cascarones or a casquiron because he's already got me a couple times. He's been waiting for me all day. Let's see what we can talk to, hang out. We got this crowd. This crowd seems a little quiet to be on live TV right now. So they are awake. Well, what were you guys waiting for? All right. Let yeah, baby. Silence the crowd. It's like I'm in a big football game or something. I like quiet. All right. Can I get a Viva Fiesta on three? Three, two, one. Oh, my God. The energy in this place is back. Clam Bow's back after two years. And I need someone to bust this on, so I'm coming over to our social media guru. Andrew, come here, buddy. <laughs> oh, I tried to get him, but we'll see what happens. Well, let's talk to some of the people here. Sir, what's your name? Claudio Fernandez. Awesome stuff. Love this shirt. Thank you. you got a front I like row yours. Seat. Yeah, no, I just got it today. Yeah. You got a front row seat. What are you hoping to see today? The whole thing. The whole thing. You the whole, any... All the lights, all the colors, everything. What does flambeau mean to you? 
Fantastic party. Fantastic party. Have you had any beers? Beer? No, I don't drink. Okay, okay, well, more for me. Don't tell anybody. All right, guys, we're going to toss it back to you guys. I'm going to find Kasky and get him on one of these. We'll leave it up to you guys. I, I want to tell you something about the crowd there, John Paul. I don't know if you can hear me. I can hear you. But, but earlier, they actually sang happy birthday to me. My birthday was yesterday. Members of the crowd saying happy birthday. That's how great a crowd that is you got behind you. He wants you to leave the orchestra. Here in a bit. Yeah, I don't know about that. That's all right. I mean, I, one's fine. But I, I, just, I just mean that's what kind of a crowd that you have behind you. I mean, they are ready. Yeah, you want to do it again? They're ready for the parade. No, 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 no. Should, no, we no, get, no. should we get a second happy birthday? Oh, I mean, so humble. No, no, no. No, no, no. we're good. No. We're I good. Think, I think we should. Hey, do y'all know a guy named <laughs> Steve Spreester? <laughs> no. See what well, you've it done. Bur- it was his birthday yesterday. I think he turned like 25. <laughs> <laughs> can, we, can we get a happy birthday for Steve? All right, let's go. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Steve. Happy birthday, Steve. Happy birthday, Steve. This is why we love November because I want the same exact treatment. This is why we love our community so much for this, just all the support, the love being out here, the celebration of not just Fiesta, but you as well, Steve. I know. That's one of the things I've never had my birthday be How awesome. Fiesta week. So well, that was that was very nice. We'll Thank be you. back with more Fiesta right after the break. Welcome back live to our Fiesta Flambeau coverage 2022 from Crockett Park. The Vanguard has started, which is a little farther up the parade route from where we are. They are the uh, kind of official, unofficial start of this parade. And one of them, of course, the United San Antonio Pow Wow. And they gave a blessing for the first time ever for this year's Fiesta Fiesta Special. And we're not far from the start of the parade. You can just see the crowd right now still getting to their seats. Eventually yes, that'll happen. That will happen eventually. They'll, they'll have no choice. And someone who's in the middle of it all, bringing us all the fun, Adam Kasky. And, and Adam, I, I know your guest. I don't know if he knows that he was caught on camera running oh, earlier, yeah. uh, bringing something <laughs> to the case. I don't know if, he, if we got, you know, I really wanted to put like the chariots yeah, of fire. I don't know. Yes, I don't know. Jay. I don't He's know. Just remember, remember, yeah, remember As we chariots call him in the Weather Center, Jay Ho, the weather bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I literally ran here, by the way. We yeah. literally saw you. <laughs> oh, where'd you have to park? Where'd you park? I had someone drop me off like four blocks away. I got my sprint in. I got my <laughs> run in today. I feel good about it. Yeah, yeah, you feel real good. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's feeling good out here. Yeah, spirit is here. And, I mean, we've had a little bit of a breeze out here, but we got to say the weather this fiesta in general. We're spoiled. We are. I mean, we would love a good soaker to get us out of our drought, but since we can't really order that or do anything about it, we're just embracing this. Yeah. Embracing this beautiful weather. 100%. It's going to be awesome tonight. I'm so pumped. What uh, what you got there? A little party popper. A little party popper? I don't know if these are allowed or not. It was handed to me. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, I'm a little jealous. I'm, I'm got a little envy here. A little envy. Just for that. You're rubbing it in on me. You're rubbing it in. Yes! Oh gosh, I didn't know he was loaded too. I love it! I love it! We're always prepared in our weather center. <laughs> hey, look at these wreaths behind us. These are nice. Nice wreaths. You got the whole look going. Love it. Reef up, yes, sir. Yeah, Viva Fiesta. Oh, man, it's coming to an end soon. But we still have the parade. All right, back to you upstairs. Yeah, we've got a few hours left before yeah, we, we get into the baby on this fun. one. we got a few hours left. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back.